This tutorial will go over calibrating the RetroTINK 4K for the Super NES. As with other tutorials in this series, the RetroTINK 4K is an advanced scaler and you should read up on more information to learn how to use it. I am linking the Super NES section of the RetroTINK 4K wiki so you can read on. The Super NES comes in many shapes and sizes, but this tutorial will work with any Super NES with model number SNS001, Super Famicom with model number SFC001, and any junior model, 101, that is RGB modded. These settings will apply to enhance this video, YPBPR, and RGB inputs. I will be using the 240p test suite, but this is not necessary for following along. To start, make your way to the sample rate detection menu. Turn the auto decimation factor and auto decimation phase on. Go to ADC sample rate and set it to 3410 dots per line. Make your way down to the progressive detection and turn on Enable 341 and Enable 682 as these are the sample rates the Super NES uses. If you have access to games with interlace output, follow the same instructions. Turn on Auto Decimation Factor and Auto Decimation Phase and make the ADC sample rate 3410. Now turn on Enable 341 and Enable 682 under Interlaced Detection. If you are using SCART or enhanced S-Video cables, find a patch of pure white on your screen and hit the game button on your remote. This should calibrate your color for your consoles. You will need to use SMPTE or EBU color bars for component video. That's it, you've successfully calibrated your RetroTINK 4K to the Super NES. Enjoy your games.